Hi, my name is Rachel Kui. I'm a pianist and a piano teacher, and I'm going to show you today how to open a grand piano. It's a simple uh, mechanical process. There's not a lot involved in it. More than anything else, you need to make sure that you don't get your hands smashed in the lid there. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a safe way so that you can produce the sounds that you'd like to produce. Here we go. The grand piano has two lids, and you're going to need to open both of them in order to perform with the lid completely open. You do have a few options in how open you'd like the piano to be when you're playing. The first option would be to simply open the lid that covers the keys. You can do this simply by reaching underneath, as I've just done, applying pressure to lift, and allowing the lid to settle back into its position. This is perfectly acceptable and in many ensemble situations, pianists will play with the lid in this position. However, we need to continue if you're going to be playing from music rather than playing from memory. The next step then in continuing to open the grand piano is to pull back the second lid, which you can do again by pulling underneath, applying pressure and gently allowing the lid to rest backwards. At this point, you're going to find that the music stand is in a flat position inside the where the lid was. So what you can do here is reach forward, pull the music rack forward slightly, and lift the music rack. On most grand pianos, there will be several notches so that you can adjust the music rack to your preferred height. You can feel free to put the music on here Again, this is another position that will be perfectly acceptable for playing in many situations. Sometimes, however, you'll find that you need to have more volume and more sound coming from the grand piano. I'm going to lower the music rack so that you can see this a little bit better. You have two options, typically, with most grand pianos when it comes to opening the larger lid. You will need to lift the lid on this side of the piano and inside you're going to find two legs. The first one is the short leg. I'm going to lift it here and I'm going to place it in the notch that is on the underside of the grand piano. This allows the lid to be partially open, allowing more sound to escape than when the lid is completely closed. However, it doesn't give as uh, tremendous a volume as you will get with the second lid, which I'll show you how to use now. Again, support the lid from underneath, and then you can raise the larger leg. You will have one or two notches where you can place the leg. Once you've found that notch, gently allow the lid to come back down. In this position, you'll be able to utilize the full strength, volume, and depth of sound that the grand piano can produce. And again, I'm Rachel Kui. I've shown you today how to open a grand piano. Hope that you have many opportunities to play on a grand piano. It's a fantastic experience. Thanks.